Hi, I'm Mark and I'd like to give you a run through of our soul units. Um, the first thing I want to say is, is people forget how important it is to get the soul unit right. There's so many different aspects that you've got to, you've got to get right from the, the compound of the rubber, the, the pattern of the tread, um, down to things like a heel brake. Midsoles are incredibly important as well. They all kind of work together to give the underfoot comfort. So, you know, that's your, your contact point with the ground. So, as you can appreciate, it is pretty much the most important thing. Um, but you get things like different rubber compounds work better in different environments as well. A wet slate, for example, is pretty poor for any type of rubber, um, but you just gotta make sure you get that balance right of durability, um, traction, and grip. There are obviously different levels of outsole as well. You get something for kind of path walking, which can be lighter weight, lower profile. You get something for for uh, more strenuous terrain, kind of mountain use that you've got to have much a deeper tread, uh, more aggressive. So we've made sure in our hierarchy we do try and and, and get that right, um, right from the top end with a with a vibram compound, which I think most of you will know. This they originate from. Northern Italy from 1936, I think it is, kind of the benchmark of, of, of outsole manufacturers, right through to an entry level that is kind of your, your lower profile, um, really nice lightweight, so there's not, not, not going to be heavy when you're out there for any length of time. Um, so running through the range, what we have, like I say, we have Vibram. Uh, this features on the, the Burrell leather and the Burrell that, that you know, but you can see really nice aggressive outsole good deep lugs keep deep, deep tread aggressive to, to give you that traction you've got a nice heel brake there as well so if you are coming downhill it gives you that little bit extra grip going down uh, vibram have a lot of different compounds they have really grippy ones that are used for climbing then ones for the ice whereas what we use is called excess trek so it, it's what another a number of the, the the footwear brands will use it just gets that perfect balance of traction of grip and durability um, and these go through extensive testing uh, in their, their R&D facility to make sure that balance is absolutely right and this is what you call a cup sole as well so you can see it's a full rubber outsole uh, and you have an EVA insert in there which I'll show you how it works a little bit later on the, on the Holcomb so then we've got Samaris outsole, uh, as you all know, was updated a few seasons ago. So we've got a really love tr lovely tread pattern there, really nice grip. We've got an angled and chamfered right to give you a good, um, a really good heel grip, um, but then the forefoot good propulsion. And that's how the, the lugs are angled, basically. You'll see the front of the lug at the heel is vertical, and the back of the lug on the front is, is vertical. So it gives you that that grip and that, that um, propulsion like I say and we've chamfered them as well with quite smooth sides and how that works and it's the same with all of our sole units how that works is, is because it's chamfered it means it'll be self-cleaning so the, the muck can disperse a lot easier doesn't get attached too easy whereas if you have really big treads and the, the, the base of the sole it, it's got something to adhere to to grip to so you don't want that but even down to the, the, the heel um, pattern as well you don't want a really square heel because you get a really hard heel strike so you get a nice rolling uh, motion when you do the heel like this uh, and you can see we've obviously got plenty of, of, of grip on that heel or tread on that heel as well and this uh, you can see it's you've got your, your rubber outsole which is a really good durable rubber but then you've got your EVA midsole and a better idea as you can see there so that's your rubber obviously and that's your EVA so it's really lightweight it actually comes from running shoe technology so it's a really nice lightweight I mean when you pick up the boot to the Samaras it is incredibly light and you've got loads of underfoot cushioning so you get that instant out-of-box comfort uh, you can see it's caught out here to keep weight down you've got the flex grooves there just to help the foot um, flex in its more natural kind of um, gait uh, then you've also got this shank embedded into the, the midsole, this being a nylon shank, which gives it that, that flex and that stability on the foot so you don't get tired feet if you're out there all day. Then you've got the Holcomb family. Although this looks like it's got a midsole, 
like that it's different in that it's a full rubber outsole so that's actually rubber as well so you've got a really lovely tread pattern again on the outsole um, slightly less aggressive but still really good traction really good propulsion really good braking but how this works as you can see that's full rubber it's caught out in the middle there and you've got the EVA insert so that keeps the weight down keeps the underfoot cushioning there um, and that's basically how the, the Vibram unit works as well. It has got this EVA insert in that also. But what we did do in the Heighton and the Kota styles, it's the same idea as the Holcomb, but you can see it's slightly lower profile, slightly sportier looking, a little bit lighter weight with more of a, a trail running inspired outsole. So then you move on to the Edge Point family. And you can see here it's quite a low profile it still has a really nice aggressive lug there um, but without being overly aggressive because this is for kind of your lower level um, path walking dog walking and the like um, but the biggest difference is this is actually TPR so what that means is thermoplastic rubber um, and all it means is it's slightly less durable than, than full-blown rubber but you still get plenty of durability it still has great grip um, and it's very lightweight as well and you can see this this, this translates into the, the kids as well so you've got the kids Holcomb range the edge point range they use the TPR as well so for kids it's great because it's it's that little bit lighter weight it's got good traction good durability but we also do have the kids Samaris which you can see it's a similar unit to the adult Samaris and what we've done is it's the EVA again. So you've got that lightweight underfoot cushioning and nice thick EVA as well. So it's really uh, instant out of box comfort we'll talk about, but you've still got that durability and traction from and protection from the rubber. So there's quite a few um, sole units we use in the range, but obviously each has its own purpose from, you know, from your Vibram through to your, your, your more entry level TPR. Um, and, the design for to fit the, the, the relevant and, and purpose. Thank you.